Watering process, which is the core of the ASD hydrator, features automatic operations with low operating costs. Dehydration functions. Sludge is pumped into the dehydrator inlet tank and from there it flows over a triangular overflow discharge into the flocculation tank. Sludge quantities exceeding the equipment capacity are returned through the safety overflow. The flocculation tank is stirred with a low speed paddle mixer and a polymeric flocculant is dosed into the incoming sludge. The flocculant solution is prepared directly at the wastewater treatment plant by mixing the concentrated reagent with water in an independent tank. It is then dosed in sufficient quantities by a dosing pump. The reaction of the flocculant with the sludge causes clearly defined flakes to be formed in the dehydrator flocculation tank and subsequently brought into the dewatering drum. The drum consists of a spiral conveyor enclosed in a tube in which there are alternate fixed and moving baffles. The spiral rotation moves the sludge to a thrust plate. At the same time, the water stream squeezed out of the sludge flows away between the baffles. The filtrate, i.e. the water squeezed out of the sludge, is brought back to the wastewater treatment process while the dewatered sludge falls out at the drum end hopper and its dry matter is usually 20% as a solid mass. The dewatered sludge is then usually placed into a container and it can be used, for instance, in composting plants. It is necessary to consider that the increase in the dry matter content from 4% to 20% represents some five-fold decrease in the